Hey there, my name's Al. Today I'm going to be walking you very briefly through the process of how you add multiple objects inside a ZBrush Core Mini. Sort of. Okay, there is a sort of to this and we'll explain it. Before we get there, if you'd like to support this channel, check out my game Centroid in the link below. Okay, so let's dive in to this. What I'm going to do is take an old sculpt that I did uh, a few weeks back and I'm going to use Snake Hook Brush. Let me turn on Symmetry. And what I'm going to do is like create a question mark above this character's head. Anybody who uses ZBrush um, is probably already aware of what I'm about to do. Now you can use clay buildup. And what I'm going to do is I've got like a, a good size brush here. Hold alt or option. And I'm just going to scribble, 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 scribble. And you see how it, it messes up. And then I can just smooth. So hold shift to smooth. And then it's actually going to separate. Here's the little caveat, right? It's still technically one, um, still the same mesh. There's just this gap more or less in between it. We're going to talk about that a little bit more here in a second. You might not find any use for this at all, but let's finish up that question mark. I've got this question mark and it's like, oh, let's, it's way too big. So if I were to go to my move tool, maybe I can like squish this down. I could squish it down. That's all cool. But here's where the issue comes in. Since this is technically not a separate object, um, when I move this, it's going to move that. Uh, bottom one and then same thing down here with the head so this would be terrible for like a character holding an object that would i would not do that um with this approach at all and yeah so let's say i wanted to move this whole thing closer to the head i can kind of finagle it down there but now it's flattening i can't mask so i can't actually move this separate object so i just have to large brush size push pull trying to grab this so don't get me wrong, it's not amazing, but I think you might maybe find some use for it some way, shape or form. Um, but yeah, I was just fiddling around with this, found this out. Maybe it'll be helpful to you. Maybe it won't. You know what would be more helpful? ZBrush, this is for you. If you would allow people to have at the bare minimum masking, really want some masking in Core Mini and multiple objects. I don't think that's uh, too much of a feature at all. So I think it should be in here. Yeah, let us do multiple objects to sculpt on. That's what I got. That's it in a nutshell. Pretty quick video. Uh, if you haven't yet and you felt like I earned it, hit that subscribe button. I will see you next time.